<laughs> New van time, cracking. So this is the UKI. This is replacing the Ford Transits. Now there's two, we have the Sprinter and we have the VW Crafter. Very, very similar. So we're gonna go around the Sprinter, but I'll, I'll identify any subtle changes between the two. But let's have a look here. Here's one change straight away, no side door. Couple of reasons for that, and I'll explain it when, when we get inside. But the one from here is, you're always operating from the safest place, the pavement or the rear, not in traffic. Now, as we're coming round, oh, here's one subtle change straight away. Yeah, I've popped this already, by the way, and it's down in the passenger side there. So, just to the left here, but bear this in mind, this is a heavy bonnet. So, remember the technique in nice and close crack there. What I have to do, because I'm vertically challenged, I can't actually get that up high enough to get the lever in. So I've got to work my way to the corner here, get it up in the air there, arms straight to holders, and then pour it in. Just avoid this, guys. Try to reach that and reach across. If that slips, it's going to give you a nasty knock. And again, taking it down, a reverse process. But this is what I want to talk about. The Add Blue filler is here on the Sprinter. But in the VW, it's round by the diesel fill up. So that's one. Now, when you're doing your weekly checks, remember all your fluids. Ah, good point. No dipstick with a Sprinter. It's on your dashboard. VW still has the dipstick. So taking this down, look, see, look, the technique there, two hands to raise it, lock that arm straight so that supports it, lock it in there, but then work your way around. Just, you don't be hit with that, do you? Well, as always, we've packed it with loads of goodies. We have electric wing mirrors, we have Apple CarPlay in it. You know, we're kind of used to this now, the PSI, winter tyres. And I'm not going to go through all of the controls, but what I will like to mention is this. This is for this vehicle. You know, you can go on YouTube and social media, but that might be different. This is bulletproof, isn't it? Cracking bedtime reading. It's all right, it's in a few languages, I think, so it's not all of it. <laughs> or it might be, you'll find out. But the one noticeable difference is, we've got rid of your ladders. Gone, brilliant, hallelujah. I'm kidding, <laughs> they're inside. <laughs> but you know, it protects them and it keeps them safe so it can keep you safe. Gas bottle holders, power flush, vacuum, great anchor points you know, make sure it's all hanging in before we set off. But look, all those drop down boxes, they've gone loads and loads of trays. There's your hop up on a cracking bracket there. Again, lovely anchor point. Now, this side, loads of trays here, and they all interlock. We just need to make sure they are locked in. More trays here, smaller ones. These are replacing the drop-down ones, divider in the middle, and fabulous little holes either side. You could take the whole tray with you if you wanted. Tool cases, again, interlocked. Ah, bit of advice on that one. It can be a fair bit of weight in these, so don't carry them like that. You'd be better off, get them individually and one either side, so always carried in a balanced manner. A lot of weight in that, that could come apart, but great for traveling. But have you noticed my position? Oh, see there's the straight line. That's out the base to the side. See the foot there when we're getting stuff out? Remember your man you're handling? Then the top here, this is for all the long lengths. But you know, when you're vertically challenged like me and I can't reach that from out there, we've even got this, which you could get them in again, to get in the vehicle, and then pop them in from there. The bit I like about that as well, this last little bit is closed in, so you can tuck them under, again, a bit more stability. But the real thing we're in here for, is to have a look at these ladders. But remember this, 
when we're getting down, look down before we step down and always go at the angle so you get your whole foot on because when we look down, so we step down, stops it from falling out. That would be embarrassing in the public domain, wouldn't it? So, our triple extension ladders, that bar's already fixed. And look how we've got the roller there. It makes this so easy, so it's just pulling them out. Can you remember what the pulling technique was? Excellent, you've all said, foot facing, two hands, dip and drive, Davey. That's cracking, man. So there we are, foot facing, two hands, dip and drive. Doesn't matter which way you come from. But this is an interesting point here. Watch. There's a lot of thought gone into this because, see underneath this shelf here, there's a board, plywood, I think it might even be a bit of plastic. But what it does, it stops that ladder from going up. I mean, I don't know why we need to stop, but imagine pulling it out like that and in the public domain, somebody runs in, you've got to stop. This can be self-supporting. Fabulous idea. <laughs> you can even stop each time. And I'm not going to bore you with the details about pole, natural pivot points, you know all of that. Put in the back, foot facing, two hands, dip and drive. Look at how easy that go is. That's effortless. And please don't forget to strap it up. Now, once you've got your triple extensions out, that's when you get the, the cat ladders out. But for that, you get them out starting in there. Remember your three points of contact? Now, look at this connection here. See the bracket there? That goes in between the first two. Not on there like that. That's not safe. It just slots in there lovely. But much like you've got your ladders at home on the hooks, it's just hooked on. It has a strap in the middle there. Just the same as this one here. Take this strap out, hook them off. What I would normally do is hook them off and just walk it out a little bit. From there, walk it out, put it down, come back out here, flip them over, and they're on the wheels, and wear them out. I'll get the guys to strap all out and check that up afterwards. Absolutely lovely vans. Oh, that's a nice point. Do not park any closer than two metres to this vehicle. There's your two metres for getting the, the ladders out. It's an absolute beaut. You know, it's bigger and there's more space, but there's a maximum weight of three and a half tonnes total. So you know when you've got those 22 toolboxes? <laughs> <laughs> can you only make it 18 in here? <laughs> you know, in, in all seriousness, you know, you can have a good clean out, can't you? Put in what you need, but be aware of the payload. It's actually taller than the transit van that you're used to, but by the time you consider the roof rack that you had on the transit, that makes the transit taller than this. But the height is on the sun visor there. Any problems, give fleet a ring, but enjoy it. I'm going to. It's a lovely drive. Oh, and we always know about that, don't we? 